Christmas the trailer park way with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. Yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays. The trailer park way. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and Merry Trailer Park Christmas. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2012, where I release a new video every day until December 25th. And we follow along on a calendar that I have on my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com, and it shows what we're doing each day. And this past week, it's been busy here in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. I made a soup and a frozen pie and a fudge and fried pasta bites. They're a great appetizer. That was on the first day. And those are great when friends and family members come over. But I see today that it says Dryer Sheet Wreath Revisited. And yes, that's right. Way back, maybe in, it was 2006. So that's almost six years. That was Trailer Park Christmas 2006. I did a great craft where you take a coat hanger and some dryer sheets. And it makes a great wreath. And it's so simple to make. And I'm going to show you again how to make it. Up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2012. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my classic Trailer Park dryer sheet wreath is so simple. And it, my wreath has actually won awards. The designer Todd Oldham said that it was wildly inventive. I don't know. I just know that it makes my trailer smell great around the holidays. And I always look for one that says Mountain Fresh. But they've got like lavender dryer sheets and all sorts that you can match your decor with this scent. But what I've got is a white coat hanger and I'm just going to bend it out into a circle. There we go. We're just going to bend it out so it's like a circle with that um, hook on the top just like that. And what we're going to do is uh, you have to look for the fabric softener that says 6 by 4 by 9 inches at least and that 9 inches is what you're looking for because that is actually the size that actually makes it fluffy. And this is actually what you do. You just unfold the dryer sheet like that. And I like to pinch it right there in the middle. So it kind of makes like a little bow tie. And all you do is you take that and put it underneath the hoop. And then you just wrap it around once. So that it's just one wrap around. And then you have the two ends just like that up top. So there we go. I've got that started. And it's going to take a while to get it to stick there. And you just kind of pinch it. And you work on the next one here. And get that on there. You might want to use gloves because this might come off on your hands. But maybe that, that'll make you smell good for the holidays. But then you're going to wrap around another one. And still holding on to the other one until they all start sticking together. Which they will. So just fidget with it. And there we go. We've got two more of the little floofy things right there and I'm just gonna keep working on this until we get around a little bit and I'll check back with you in just a moment there we go we've got a few started around the hoop and now I'm just gonna go all the way around the hoop and you're gonna have to work very carefully around this area until it all sticks all together and then you just kinda fluff it up just a little bit so that it hides all the holes in it but I'm gonna work on this and I'll check back with you in just a moment And there you have it, my dryer sheet wreath. And look how pretty and white that is. Looks just like snow in it. Wow, it smells very good. And this is really making the whole trailer smell great. And I put some flowers, I just popped the top off of the silk flowers and stuck them on in there and some bows. But you can decorate it any way that you like. And you already have that hook on it because it was a coat hanger. And it goes right up on your door just like that. And it's just a great, great wreath that you've made on your own using dryer sheets and if you get desperate you could use them in the dryer later on but it's just a great holiday craft that you can do from your trailer they make great gifts too it's my classic trailer park dryer sheet wreath 
right here today on Trailer Park Christmas 2012. There's a video every day until December 25th, so be sure to subscribe and of course follow the Trailer Park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And of course add me on Google+. Plus. I'll see you back tomorrow with either a new recipe or craft. Be sure to get your calendar for free on my website printed out so you know what's going on each day at TrailerParkChristmas.com. I love ya and Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Thunder. pride in the double wide. Store.com Spend the holidays the trailer park away.